Scared, you know, a bit, bit, bit scared. Don't know how this is gonna go. We'll have to see what's gonna happen in this game against Southampton. But anyway, no. How is everyone finding FM16? I'm finding it very, very nice. I'm finding the new layout very, very sexy. I'm finding the game and like a breath of fresh air, as gay and cliche as that sounds. But I am like the game has given me so much more life in terms of a football simulation game because FIFA just wasn't cutting it. FIFA was only good for the first week, week and a half, and I was bored. Um, and th th that usually happens with me regardless with FIFA anyway. I, I get bored literally before we've even got into the new year. Many people get bored around like, oh, wow, goodness me, the foe was not wasting any time. It's one nil to to Sunderland, and we we need to get back in this. Mane, what? What? No, no, you can't make me get excited with blood pressure levels like this, and then call offside. Trash talk. Uh, stop. We're two nil down, mate. We're two nil down. We we are two nil down. It's not great at the moment. This is not. What? It's not great. They got the ball again. He's going forward again. The Deef is asleep again. And he takes a shot and that goes wide. A majority of the time. They got the ball again. They got the goal. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Can't. Yeah? We're 19th on the... T it's great. First game. We can do this. The only excuse I have right now for this performance is match fitness. Like, my, I don't know what it is. I don't know if everyone else is experiencing this, but it's so hard to keep everyone fit for some reason. That sounds wrong. Oh, my God. We are getting roasted right now. We are getting absolutely roasted. Like, there's losing the first game. And then there's just getting bullied. We are getting bullied. Good stuff. You know, definitely get a comeback in a couple seconds. Yeah. Score about five goals in that. Yeah. Score five goals in two minutes. Game done. Absolute appalling result. Absolutely appalling result. 4 0 against Sunderland. I am not even. Just getting slammed. I'm just shouting at you straight up i don't care if it's our first game that is horrible bottom of the table we need to sort that out nah 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 that continuity though it's just not there it just isn't is it i'll change the skin is now yeah um it's actually a couple of days since i've actually done this next part of the episode but we have made one addition signing additional signing to the club from start nah, that's a good name for a team christopher Ager. You guys should know him. If you do, if you haven't played FM last year, he was sort of a, under, I'd say a um, hidden gem or just not really an appreciated wonder kid. But he is very, very solid indeed. 17 years old. Some of his stats are deep, good, are good. You got teamwork on 17, termination on 17, leadership on 14, work rate on 15, composure on 14, aggression on 14. Natural fitness on 15, jump and reach 17. He's going to be a solid midfielder in the future, so I can't wait to use him. I had to sign him because it was just kind of a thing where, actually, to be fair, the team called me in for a team meeting and actually discussed how they felt there was lack of depth in the uh, midfield position. Who knew? Who knew that could happen? So I had to um, get in the old, you know, get the wallet out and be like, look, how much dust? Nah, I ain't got that much dust. The way my bank account is set up. So I had to, like, find a either a potential beast in midfield or you know splash out every penny i had on a decent midfielder now and i'd rather go for a young midfielder with a lot of potential um but yeah that's that's christopher emma azure azure sure since the game i don't know what accent that is but since the game against sunderland where we lost 4-0 first game of the season nah not too good though is it um we were at home 
Yes, at home at St. Mary Stadium, get in. Jay Rodriguez bangs in a hat trick in the 12th, 49th, and 64th minute. You peasant. Then David Klassen gets his first goal in his second game for the club, which is awesome. Scored in the 26th minute, and Tajik got a penalty and banged that in. He's not going to miss penalties, he's, he's just too ledge. Right, then um, we beat Ebbsfleet in our first Europa League game, playoff game. Uh, David Claston scored two goals actually in the first and 65th minute. This is where I knew that my technique, well it's not my technique, I can't remember what FM YouTuber it was, but he basically broke down how he does his contracts and what he does is, this is advice for everyone and it works, what he does is, is that instead of offering them more wages, he will give them not the highest but a really high amount on goal bonuses which then makes them score more goals because it's not the first time you see David Klassen's name on this score sheet. I'm telling you, you, you got a few more, um, I think. Um, but yeah, no, and it works. Like it's worked on my last save and it's worked on this save. Like just banging in goals. So yeah, drew against Norwich, which wasn't fortunate. You know, I really didn't want to lose against Norwich, uh, draw, lose or draw against Norwich, but it happened. We drew 3-3 free free with Ebsborg again. Um, not a game that I think we should have drawn, but it happened. James Ward-Prowse scoring. I decided to give him a start in this game. Jay Rodriguez out with an injury now. Um, Svezvan scored an own goal, and Damari Gray played in this game as well, and he got a goal. And then against Watford, we beat them 3-1. David Klassen on the score sheet again, scoring in the 15th minute. Wanyama scored in the uh, 38th minute, and that is now out for four months, which is why I signed Azure. And um, James Ward Prowse scored in the seventy second minute. So yeah, Wanyama is now out for four months. That's not even ideal. Like it's not even. Yeah, I can't even express how annoying that is. Um, does where does it say? I'm trying to find out where it says he's injured. Mm, where do you find that? I'm I'm really trying to find that. Is it on the history injuries? Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, now you, you can see here, torn calf muscle, two weeks, current injury, timeout, and then he's got another couple. I, I can't even remember how long he's out for. It did say something like he's been out, he's going to be out for four months or something like that, which is quite ridiculous. So, I don't really know what's going to happen with that. Anyway, that has been that. Today's, well, the next game in this episode is against Bournemouth in the Premier League we are away but we're expected to win as they're sitting 20th on the table not really had the best of runs lost all their games so it should be an easy win let's go expect to win end of how is Stecklenburg injured a strained neck how do you do he's not going to be able to save it I can't take him off he's not going to be able to save it he strained his neck okay we've got we've got no we've given the ball away we've given the ball away Francis Richie we get, we've lost the ball. They're keeping possession. Wilson forward to forward. Fucking hell, four nil. Here we go. Let's get forward. Come on, Ward Prowse. That's it. Nice pass over to Taj. Oh, he's offside anyway. Keeper saved it. Borak with a good save. Fonte, classy, to Klassen. He's through. He's through. Ward Prowse hits the post though. Betrin. Oh no, game. Stop game done. It's the end of that half. Here we go, smashing this team. Aggressive. Show me something else in that second half. Goodness me, that was appalling. <sighs> Making substitutions. Lockadia, apparently, according to this, has been playing well. It's Tajik that's had a really bad game. So we're going to put on Juan Me. He's actually doing really well for me at the moment, actually. I can't really lie about that. And actually, I feel I'm going to have to put on Damari Gray because those are the two. It's the wingers. It's the wingers. The wingers are meant to be producing that wing play. They can cross it in, cutting inside. You know, the flair. But nothing's happened from them two, especially Tadic. Tadic has been all over the place. Three kicks given away. You know, he's on now, offside already. Goodness me, it's one of those games. Gray's got the pace to get past all of these lot. Is he going to do it? No, he tries to whip in across. Look at the. Look at the. Come on, ow, my leg. Come on. That is what I'm talking about. 68th minute, second goal of the season. Nah. What are you going to do when Lockadia does stuff like that? Yeah, that shot was just beautiful. 4-1. Don't want another Wilson through. He's got no one in the box. He's got one person in the box. Cuts his side, goes past two. Wow, Richie, you peasant. Oh, my God. How is it 2-1? Send him off. 
can't be doing that in the ninth minute. What do you think this is? It's a yellow. It's a freaking yellow. Whips this one in. Nah, Ward Pass, get that back. Joami. <laughs> Bertrand gets a goal in the 91st minute. How about that? Oh my god, Richie, you scored and then you freaking messed it up, you peasant. Yes, game done. I'll say, I guess I got set up for a draw, but that is disappointing. We should have won. That was disappointing. Yeah. I don't care if we came back. That was disappointing. A game like that should have been an easy win. We are now eighth on the table. Uh, you can see here we battered them. 20 shots, eight on six on target, 53% on possession. Cedric got man of the match. Shows you how bad we played. Right back getting a man of the match. Not in a bad way, but, you know. Uh, first on the table is Man U, Chelsea, Swansea having a good start to the season so far, uh, Man City down there in 4th, Newcastle as well having a good start to the season in 5th, Arsenal moved up to 6th along with Tottenham now in 7th, Liverpool down in 11th, not really the greatest start to the season and we've got Everton who should be up there as well. Um, so yeah, that is that. If you have enjoyed this episode, leave a like and I will see you for the next one. Peace.